Okay, so I'm going to color with my Crayola markers now. I bought the um, Crayola Super Tips or 50 count. So the markers are not labeled. They have no they have no names for the colors. So I'm just going to say I took the lightest pinkish color in there. <laughs> and I don't really like to color all of it because with markers like these, it's just going to end up leaving a weird texture like uh, like in the desk. I don't know if you can see it, but it doesn't really color evenly. So I only ever color in the shadows. Um, for the skin tone, and uh, it looks pretty convincing in my opinion. I could be wrong, or your opinion could be different than mine. Okay, so this is pretty much all the coloring I do with markers for the skin. Uh, the skin, the main skin tone just pretty much stays white, but the shadow there makes it seem like there's some presence of color. And I like to add in a darker color for the skin. It's, I usually use a really light purple. Oh, it looks like this. So for the hair, I'm probably going to be using, I'm going to be using this um, yellowish orange, or er, this orange-ish yellow, and uh, this light purple again.
let's I'll just start with that. So for markers I tend to start with the lightest color, yellow, because I'm always afraid that or did I say the darkest color is the lightest color? Well, I'll start again. I usually use the lightest color because I'm afraid that if I use start with the darkest color and go over with the light color it'll stain the kit. I don't like that. getting a bit tedious, so I'm going to pause and move on to the next color once I'm done with this. Okay, so I'm going to start using the light purple now. Um, these darker parts of these more oranger parts in the hair, so to, say, so to speak, um, it was the same color. I just um, colored over it multiple times to get it darker. Um, you could just stop there if you uh, if you like the subtle contrast, but I, I like to have more contrast, so I'm just going to go over some darker parts, some of the darker parts with the light purple. And it blends to make a nice sort of brownish color, and that's because... Um, that's because yellow and purple are complementary colors, and when you mix complementary colors together, you end up with an earthy sort of tone. Okay, so, so far this is what the picture looks like. Um, I didn't think the video was going to last this long, so I'm just going to stop it right here for now.